Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to look at how to uh, install and configure the volume component. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just going to be an icon of the speaker, but when you hover over it, you get the plus minus icons to turn the sound up and down. This is the one for the simplex button scheme, and here is one for the silhouette button scheme that's already muting the sound. So if I click it, we unmute the sound. Um, we can sound down. When it gets to the bottom, it fades out. And when we get to the sound to its maximum, it fades out. So if we come back down again, its claim to fame is that when you mute the sound and then unmute the sound, the sound returns to the level that you previously set. Okay, so that's the component. So how do we do it? Right, okay. Um, I've already got the Simplex component installed into my uh, copy of Pano 2 VR, but you would go to the um, forum, download the component, get it on your desktop, double click it, it opens up Pano 2 VR, and then asks for which category you want to put it in. I only have a user defined, you may have more. Um, select which category you want and click OK. When it's installed successfully, it says it's copied it OK, you click OK, and it opens up an instance of Pano 2 VR, so you can have a look in the skin and open up the component toolbox and make sure it's in there, which it is. Right, cool. Right, so that will done. I'm gonna close this instance of Pano 2 VR because I already have one open with a project. So it's a single node Pano. I've already added an MP3 file for my background sound. The interesting thing to note here is the level. I've got it set to one or 100%. Now the idea of that is, because um, most people would say, oh, background sound, let's set it to say 20 or 40% or whatever. Um, but the ver uh, the the volume uh, component will actually set a vo or, or, or the level when the project opens. So we leave this at 100% and, and it matches all the other sounds in the project because we are affecting the main sound channel and that affects all of the sounds. So if they're all start at 100% then they then the volume control will affect them equally all together. Right. Okay. So that said, let's open up the skin editor. Open up the component toolbox, select my volume control uh, silhouette buttons. And here you can see on the description, there's lots of instructions there as well. But to add it to my skin, just double click. There you go. Right. OK. Now, this actually comes configured to uh, set the level at 40 percent and the buttons visuals to work at 40 percent. And what I mean by that is if I open up the live preview, if I hover over the, the speaker button, you'll see that we've got the plus button. Now, if we're at 40%, if I click it again, that now will be at 60. If I click it again, that's 80. If I click it again, that will be at 100%, and then it fades out to say that we've reached its maximum. And again, we've got the same going the other way. So if we're at 100, that'll be 80, 60, 40, 20. And when we get to zero, it will then go to it will fade out to say that we've hit the, the lowest we can there. OK, so we've got two things that we need to adjust if we want to set a different starting level. So let's click in anywhere in the uh, skin editor's background to open up the skins properties panel. I'll just expand this box over so we can see all the text. And you can see I've got a variable um, uh, set, which is a numbered variable, and its initial value is two. Now we're uh, um, the, the, the volume controller is jumping up in 20% steps. So zero would be 0%. Uh, 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 so one step up would be 20, two steps up be 40, 60, 80, and 100. So if I wanted to um, set this particular volume control up to, to initially open at 60%, I would set that value to three. Now, as I say, this is only affecting the visual. So I would only have to click twice now to get to the faded button. Um, but what we need to do is tell the project how to or, or where to set the actual level of the sound and that's done by clicking on this container um, which is the sound on off container and you'll see that this has an initial action so a viewer init so when the project starts the action is volume we're going to set the volume to 40 percent i'm actually going to change that now to 60 to match the variable there is the main channel um because we're affecting all of the sounds however if you wanted to you could add um, a, a, a second instance of the volume controller and then as you add sounds to your project you would have the different channels here so you could select which channel that you wanted the volumes to uh, to to actually adjust so you could adjust the you know background sound or whatever I'm going to leave this at main and click OK what I want to do now is um, just open up the live preview again because now we've adjusted this for 60% when we hover over it 
when I click um, the plus button, so we're at 60, if I click it now, now that's now at 80, click it again, we've now gone to 100. So you can see we've now got the visuals matching the actual level of the sound. Okay, so that's how to adjust the volume controller, install it, and thanks for watching.